Hello everyone and welcome back. And our topic now is DOM manipulation, removing or deleting HTML elements. So basically, we are going to upgrade our application right now. This is our app. Uh, what we're going to do right now is as soon as we add like a task over here, uh, let me just type some random letters. I can't think of any task right now. Once we add something, uh, this task will have an accompanied or it, it should there should be like a delete button right here at the side right wherein when a user click that button it will also delete the specific task that that is beside that button the delete button right so uh, basically what we're trying to achieve let me just refresh this one if we're going to head back over here in our index.html and by the way, we're not creating a, uh, a new project, right? So we're still working on the add event listener. Uh, this is like kind of like a continuation of the topic, but we're going to be learning something new as well, uh, but still related to that. So uh, here, basically, if we are going to click this button, what should happen should be something like this. For example, uh, read a book, and there should be a button beside here with the delete text, something like that. Right, so uh, but we are not going to do it here manually in HTML. Right, we need this. We need this button to appear uh, right after we add that. You know, uh, information it should be here at the side. So we already know how the create element method works, and that's basically what we're going to do. So let's go back here in script.js. Uh, it doesn't matter, by the way, if you are if your code is this one uh, or this one, because we, we are basically just going to add uh, this part right here. We're going to add some codes on this part. So if you are using this one, if you have chosen to prefer, hold on. If you prefer this type of uh, implementation, uh, we are just going to change the code somewhere here. In fact, it's only like a few lines of code, like probably five or six codes. And uh, uh, so let me just go ahead and dis disable this one. I'm going to do it right over here. So uh, we already know how to create uh, an element. The one that we have created before, when our topic was about create element, we have created an li element, right? And we have added a content to do input that value. In fact, you know what? Uh, we can actually, this one right here, we already we already did it over here. We can actually replace that. We can copy this and place it that way. We should we should be able to achieve the same result. Let me just delete this one right here. Okay. We type the text. We still have it right. So anyway, it, it's not part of the topic right now. It's just that uh, you can actually improve your your code further and further. If you will notice that you already have a variable that holds this one. Uh, like what we have uh, uh, earlier, like that, you can improve it by just, you know, using that same variable and uh, your code will be much more efficient and mu much more uh, less less confusing. So anyway, uh, we are now going to create a delete button. So very, very easy. Anywhere here, right? Let's make some space. We are going to create a delete button so we can probably name this uh, delete BTN is equals to document that create element oops all right sorry about that so create element there you go and what is it that we're going to create we're going to be creating a button so again you can create any html element here in javascript using the create element method you can even create a div all right you can create an h2 element a table element you can do that so right now, what we're going to do is just the, the uh, button. All right. And of course, uh, uh, if we do that in JavaScript, basically what we have done is something like this. It's right over here, very small, no text yet. Okay. So we are going to add a text on that. Uh, that's going to be delete btn dot text content. We have learned this already. And the text content is going to be, you can type here del if you want to. I'll just type delete. And after that, uh, we know already that this one will run, but it will not show up on the page unless we attach it to its parent. 
Okay, so here we have a, a to-do list. The to-do list is this one, right? So remember this to-do list variable is right over here. It is attached to this hashtag to-do hyphen list, which is right here. So we appended an li tag to that, right? And the list elements goes over here, okay? So just, just a quick review on what we did in the last videos. Uh, and the last couple of videos. So right now, we are going to attach the delete button. Remember, the one that we're trying to do now is something like this. We have a button, right? And some text over here. So basically, this button, its parent will be this li tag, right? This li element over here. So let me go ahead and delete that one. What we're going to do here, as you can see, we already have a variable here that you know when we created the li element it is stored in this variable so we can basically copy this right over here at the bottom and now we can say li that append child each child is going to be this element over here the delete button there you have it okay so let's go ahead and try this one out let's type some text over here uh, ride a bike, for example, click add, and there you have it. We have a delete button right over here. Let's try, let's try to type something here, and there you go. Whatever it is that we type, there is like an associated or corresponding delete button that comes with it, right? So now, all we have to do right now, if we're going to click the uh, delete button, it doesn't do anything. So therefore, we're going to be uh, using or applying the knowledge that we have learned uh, about the add event listener, we are going to assign an, an, an event listener on this button that when a user clicks on it, this will remove the list. So we already know the append child function. So what do you think is the opposite of that? If we can append a child or we, if we can add a child element on a particular parent element in HTML using JavaScript. The opposite is we can also remove, right? We can also delete a child or remove a child. So that's what we're going to do right over here. We already have that variable, delete BTN. We are going to assign an add event listener. We're going to say listen for a click, a click on this button itself, right? And the second param parameter, we, are, we can just assign a, a, a generic function over here. Uh, like that syntax, uh, get used to it, okay? Uh, it, it is what it is. So we have to get used to the syntax. And what we're going to do now is remove instead of appending, right? So the parent element of this li tag is this to-do list variable which is connected to this ul tag the unordered list so that means that is going to be our reference so to do list that remove child as you can see it is one of the options i only type remove but as you can see the intelligence we call this the intelligence in which the ide this uh, vs code is trying to think of what we're trying to type <laughs> okay so Select that, remove child, and what what is it that we're trying to remove? So before, I mean, here we appended the li tag. Now we wanted to remove that over here. All right. Remember that this delete button will be associated to a particular list. So right now, let's go ahead and test this out. So save this, and we type some code here, type some code, type some code, and let's try to delete as you can see right there. Let's type a, uh, like an understandable data. Read uh, a book, okay? Watch uh, YouTube, okay? Play a game, okay? Uh, take a walk, there you go. So, if we are, go uh, let's go ahead and test, uh, let's add some more. Go to the mall, okay? Um, what else? Uh, message some friends there you go so if we're going to delete the last one it's working let's delete the first one read a book it's working let's delete somewhere here at the middle 
for example, this take a walk. And as you can see, it delete exactly the corresponding uh, li or list element that is part of this button because this button right here, this delete button is literally part of that list because we have appended, appended it, as you can see right here, into that li element that we have created. So you might notice that uh, why is it that we don't have to do this? Like we created an element, yes, and then, but before we have to use query selector so that we can reference this, you know, on, on you know, from our HTML element. Well, the good thing is we only do this, right, uh, for an existing HTML elements over here. So if we have created that element us using JavaScript, we don't have to, 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 we, don't, we don't have to do this anymore, like li query selector, we don't have to. Once you have created, once you have a variable that you are using to create element, you can use that variable already for other part of your code. For example, adding uh, a text content over here. For example, here, we have a delete btn that doesn't exist in our inde index.html. But we can use this variable, even this one is not a query selector. It is not a query se selector, it is a create element, but we can still use that variable to add a content into that button. Right here, we added a, te a text content. And over here, we added an add event listener to this variable over here, all right? So once you have created or used a create element, you don't have to use a query selector. Normally, the query selector, we only use that uh, like if the element is already existing in HTML and we don't have a reference on that element here in JavaScript. So we use a query selector. And of course, also remember that for a class, use a period. For an ID, use a, uh, a pound sign. But for uh, an actual element, just type the name of the uh, tag, the HTML tag name, button, div, li, h2. Uh, etc. Well, I hope that this has been informative for you. See you in the next one.